so we're going to begin this class by lying down on our backs so coming to find a neutral spine that slight lift in the lumbar spine and the sacrum touches down onto the mat lengthening through the back through the crown of the head and just allowing the legs to come out long for a moment taking a few moments here just to check in with yourself check in with your body with your breath maybe bringing your hands to your lower tummy as we take some nice big inhales and when you exhale I just want you to breathe it all out through the mouth good two more Good. Take in a moment here. On your next in breath, just drawing the knees in towards the chest. Wrapping your arms around your shins and giving yourself a nice big cuddle. You just take a gentle rock from side to side. Maybe allowing the head to rest back down, still hugging the thighs in towards the chest. Mm. Good. When you're ready to let these legs go, feet come to find the mat. Gonna make our way upwards now. So just taking your time here, coming up into your forearms to begin with. Not rushing. And then finally making ourselves all the way up to a seated position. So finding a comfortable seat here, sit bones grounded, finding that slight tilt in the pelvis so we can really lengthen through the spine. If you require a little bit of a um, cushion under you, then please grab one now or a block, whatever feels good. And we're just lengthening through here. You can keep the eyes closed if that feels nice. You're just really taking time to ease into your body, to your space. Good, and just start to bring some gentle circles into the neck. Nothing too crazy. Just slowly working around in one direction. If there's any bits that feel painful to you, just avoid that area. Don't push through it. Next time your chin is at your chest, chained in the direction. Oh, it's a nice click that's happening there. I don't know about you. My neck is clicky today. Good, coming back to centre, neutralising the spine, bring the gaze forwards. On an inhale, we're going to plant one hand down and bring the other arm up and over, stretching through the side body. Really send that breath down, filling up through the rib cage. Allow the diaphragm to fully expand. Good, inhale, bring it up to centre, come on over to the other side, same again. Good, inhale, nice neutral spine. We're just going to find some circles here throughout the torso, so just bringing the chest forwards and then allowing the spine to round as you come back. Good. Again, feeling into any pops and clicks. It's completely normal. Next time you're at centre, just switch the direction. Good. 
good. Finding a nice neutral spine. I'm just going to take my jacket off because I think it's rubbing on my mic. So sorry about that. Fabulous. On your next inhale, just slowly walk the hands in front of you, keeping the spine nice and long and the chest lifted. Gaze is forward. It's finding a nice stretch through the spine. Try and keep the sit bones grounded here. <sighs> Good, inhale, walk those palms back, send them behind your back, shoulder blades together and lift the chest. Just starting to feel an opening through the thoracic spine, through the heart space. Good, inhale, bring it back through to centre, nice big in breath, send the arms up overhead. And exhale, bring the palms through to heart centre. Two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Allowing the palms to rest on the knees. We're just going to do some shoulder shrugs here. So an in-breath, drawing the shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale, let them drop. Good, inhale. Exhale, allow the tension to just dissipate one more time. Good. Now making our way into a tabletop position. I'm going to work through some gentle cat-cow movements here. So feel free to take whichever variation of the cat-cow feels good to you. It can be kind of your normal or if you want to do something that's a bit more free-flowing. Um, then please feel free. Whatever feels good in your body today, this is your practice. So on the inhale, we're going to send the chest forward, tailbone lifts high. Exhale, tuck tailbone, belly in towards the spine, protract the shoulders. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe we're getting to find a bit more fluidity here. Only if it feels nice, whatever feels good to you and your body. Switching the direction. Maybe find a little bit more of a wave through the spine. So inhale, slightly rocking over the palms, over the wrists. Exhale, tilt the tailbone high. Bring the bottom all the way back to your heels. Good. Inhale, rolling up, chin towards the chest. Bring it forwards. Exhale, tilt the tailbone. Push the bottom back towards the heels. Just feeling that fluid motion through your spine. One more time. Good. Next time your bottom is on the heels, just stretching the arms out in front of you. Allow the forehead to rest on the mat. Come into a child's pose. On an inhale, walk the hands on over to the left side. Melt the head, melt the chest. Inhale, bring it back through to the centre. Come on over to the other side. Good, inhale back to centre. Making your way back into your tabletop position, we're going to work through some um, thread the needle movements. So on an in-breath, send in the right fingertips high, gaze towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, tuck the arm through, allow the shoulder blade to rest on the mat, ear to rest on the mat. Stay in here for a few breaths. It's up to you if you want to go a little bit deeper. 
you can extend the left arm up and over to find the inner right thigh or just stay where <laughs> just stay where you are if that feels nice again it's just listening to your body and what it needs today Good. On an in breath, send the right fingertips all the way back up to the towards the ceiling. Counter twist. And plant the right palm back down. Just checking your alignment again before we go for the left side. So inhale, left fingertips high, gaze forward. No, gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread the arm all the way through. Shoulder rest down, ear rest down. Staying here or going for that. Deeper stretch if that feels nice for you today. Good. Inhale to plant the palm, pushing through that right hand as we send the left fingertips back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release it back down, tabletop position. <clears throat> So coming to sit with your bottom back on your heels. Just going to do a little twist here. So finding a nice length through the spine with the crown of the head reaching up. We're going to inhale, send the arms up overhead. Exhale, take a twist. So left hand comes on the outside of the right thigh. And right fingertips find the space behind your back. We're turning the head towards the back. So over the right shoulder and just taking five deep breaths here. Sometimes it can feel a lot when we're in these twists because it's quite restricting. So just taking your time to really focus on your breath and sending it all the way down. Try and avoid kind of the short, sharp breaths. Uh, we want to let our nervous system know that we're okay. Even though the position is unusual, we're all good. Good, and inhale to release, come back to centre, take a moment to neutralise the spine. Good, on an in-breath, sending the arms up high, come to find the twist on the other side, so this time right hand on the outside of the left thigh, and left fingertips come to rest behind the back, gaze is over the left shoulder, remembering to breathe. One more deep breath here. Good. Release, come to find your neutral spine. Just walk both hands forward. You can take the knees out slightly wider here for a wide leg child's pose. Allow your chest to melt down, forehead to melt down. Just take a moment. Good. On your next in-breath, planting the palms in front of you and coming up into an all-fours position. Nice deep inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to lift the knees, lift the bottom high, coming into our first downward dog of the day. Again, taking whatever you need in your downward dog, whether that's a pedal out, maybe a little wiggle of the hips. Prioritizing a nice long spine over straight legs here. Gazes towards the navel and belly draws in towards the spine. So we've got that nice core stability. Maybe finding some stillness in your down dog if that feels nice for you today. If you need a little bit more space for your hamstrings, bring the feet wider. Okay, we've taken a little wiggle of the head, a little nod back and forth. 
Just easing into this position. Good. On your next in-breath, I want you to bring your gaze between your palms and just slowly begin to walk the feet towards your hands. Taking your time here, there's no rush. And just stopping when you reach the top of your mat. So again, keeping the space between your feet wider if you need a little bit more room for the hamstrings if they're feeling a bit tight and a nice softness in the knees. Or big toes can touch, whatever feels good for you. And we're going to grab opposite elbows. Allow the head and the neck to just hang in ragdoll. Gentle sway from side to side. Belly rests on the thighs. Keeping your hands on opposite elbows if that feels nice. Or maybe you just want to release and allow the backs of the hands to rest on the mat. Good, and as you begin to inhale, we're just very gonna, very, <laughs> we're just slowly going to roll up the spine. So one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last thing that lifts. As we come to find our Tadasana, our mountain pose. So finding strength in this pose. We draw in up through the thighs, through the kneecaps. Engage in pelvic floor and the core, lengthening through the spine, through the crown of the head, standing strong. Arms come to rest by the sides of your body, gazes forwards. Good. On your next inhale, we're going to send the arms high and come to sit back in our chair. So weight is in the heels of the foot. Belly is drawn in towards the spine and bottom is sitting back as if we're sitting in a chair. We're going to hold this for five breaths. I know it can feel a lot, but try and stick with it. For two, for one, good, belly comes down towards the thighs, come to find your fold, inhale to lift halfway, lengthen through the spine, chest is forward, exhale, fold it over, inhale, step the left foot back, lower down the knee, come in to find your lunge, Inhale, send the arms high. Exhale, palms frame the foot. Step the right foot back. Coming into your chaturanga, you can take a knees variation here if that feels good. Lowering down. Inhaling up to cobra, elbows, shoulder blades back. Exhale, push it all the way back, down with facing dog. Good. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Back foot turns to find warrior one. The back foot is in a 45 degree angle. We send the arms up high for warrior one. Good. On your next exhale, palms come, right, come down to frame the foot. Step the right foot back. Again, finding whichever variation of your chaturanga you like. So it can be knees or your ordinary one, finding cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forwards and begin to slowly walk your feet towards your palms. Good. 
Fold and over. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen through the spine, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, send the arms high for chair. Exhale, release, find mountain pose. Good. So taking a moment, finding your strong Tadasana. Inhale, send the arms high, coming back into chair. Five breaths here. Hold in for two. Getting ready for one. Release the chest towards the thighs. Fold it over. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right foot back, lower the back knee, and bring the arms up overhead, low lunge. Inhale, palms come to frame the foot. Stepping the left foot all the way back, finding your plank. You can lower down your knees or come down in ordinary chaturanga. Inhaling upward dog or cobra. Exhale, roll it back down with facing dog. Good. Inhale, step the left foot forward, back foot turns 45 degrees. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Take a moment. Exhale, palms frame the foot, step the left foot back, find plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, push it all the way back, down the face and dog. Good, next inhale, gaze towards the front of your mat and slowly walk your feet towards your palms. Forward fold. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, draw the arms up. Come to find chair. Exhale, release. Tadasana. Good. So come in to find the wide side. Uh, to find the wide side of your mat. So you're taking a step out with your left foot. <coughs> so we're going to come into a wide leg. Uh, I can't say that. Wide leg forward fold. So hip points facing forward, toes both facing forwards. Just finding that sweet spot of space between your legs. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy, nothing too wide. And lengthening through the spine, nice in-breath here. And as you exhale, hinging at the hips, fold it forward. Walking the hands out in front of you. Taking a nice stretch here. You can keep a softness in the knees. Good. Maybe walking the hands a little bit deeper if that feels good. Or to ease into that space behind the spine, not behind the spine, <laughs> behind the heart, which is the spine. You can take a little movement here, whatever feels nice. Good. Inhale, bring your hands to your hip points and slowly begin to rise. You can bring the legs in for a moment, take a minute, take a little wiggle out. And then find in that position again. This time we're going to interlace the fingers behind the back. Okay. Inhale to draw the shoulder blades together and puff the chest. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come and fold forward. Allow your head and your neck to relax. Allow the arms to just fall wherever they want to be.
Good. You inhale to slowly rise up. Lovely. Release the hands. Bring your arms around your back. Give yourself a nice big hug. Change the crossing of the arms. Nice big stretch. Good. And walk the feet in towards you a little bit more in towards the midline and we're going to come down into our malasana so if you need help in malasana in our yogic squat if you know you need pill pillows or blocks go and grab those now and you can you, you can assist yourself coming down or if you're all good we're going to bring hands to heart center and find that deep squat as we come all the way down good so nice long spine here keep the chest lifted Bring hands to heart center and we're using our elbows here to push away on the knees. So we're getting a nice stretch here on the inner thigh, both sides. Again, you can find a little bit of a wiggle, a bit of a movement here if that feels nice. You can take an open up through the chest. Mm -hmm. Or well, perhaps you'd like to take your bind if you've got your bind. So having a nice deep stretch here. Opening up through the heart space. Good. Lovely, bring it back through to the centre. If you're sat on blocks or cushions, please remove them now. If you're not, we're just going to allow ourselves to drop down to the bottom. So I'm coming around to the long side of the mat again so you can see what I'm doing. So bringing the legs out in front of us for our staff position. So keeping a nice length through the hamstrings for now. Keep the feet flexed so we're nice and active. We're going to take a deep inhale, send the arms up overhead and exhale, fold it over here. Nothing too crazy again, just finding that sweet spot of a little bit of a stretch. Today is all about self-compassion, so nothing too strenuous. Just allowing our body to feel that niceness of the stretch. Again, keep the spine nice and long. You can use a strap here if that's what you like. Good. And inhale, walk yourself back up. We're going to bring the uh, soles of the feet together, making a nice diamond shape here between your legs. Um, heels don't need to be crazy close to the pubic bone, just a nice comfortable position here. Again, if this is too much for you, you can use cushions or blocks under your knees, or if this is all good. We're just going to interlace our fingers around the tops of the toes and you can find a nice rounding of the spine here as we just allow our head to drop towards the toes. Good, inhale to rise back up. Plant the soles of your feet down, come to lay down on your back again. Come down nice and slowly, taking your time. Hi, Kia there. <laughs> okay. From here, drawing the knees in towards the chest again. 
you can take some little circles with the hips reverse direction come to find the outside of the feet for happy baby take a nice rock from side to side massage in the lower spine maybe finding some stillness knees are in towards the armpits good releasing allowing the feet to come down so now we're going to end with um legs up the wall so wherever you find space um is good and it's up to you if you want to use a block under your sacrum please do sometimes that feels nice it gives you a little bit more elevation or a cushion even this is our nice relaxation pose now to finish so whatever feels comfortable for you i'm just gonna grab my block I'm going to use this space over here, so hopefully you can... I don't think you're going to be able to see me, actually. So I'll just demonstrate without the wall, but please feel free to use the wall. So we're popping the block underneath the sacrum, and we're sending the legs up in front of us. I'm just taking a moment to relax, to reset the body, reset the blood flow. And you can stay here for as long as feel, it feels good for you. Again, you can do this without the block, so don't worry if you don't have anything. You can just rest with your legs against the wall. Stay here for as long as you need. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you all feel a little bit more self-compassionate and can carry that with you. Um, and I will see you next time on the map. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>